Hi, good morning. This is Terry Lutke with Falcon Force Road. This morning we're going to shoot a brief video that shows how I teach connecting a glider to a Falcon Force Road. Some of this is sort of particular to this machine. Some of it is applicable to other trikes as well. So, first thing we're going to do, I'll start on this side. In the previous video, we showed laying out the glider in a rough shape. Starting from that point, we back our machine sort of in the middle of the glider, between the risers that were laying on the ground. So back up here just a little bit. Picking up the riser, you can see the A's are up. No twist to tangles. At this point, it's a good time to check the trimmers. Make sure the trimmers are short. In our case, we take off the trimmers in the slow or short position. I'll walk, walk around here. Take the lines, A's up. Through the line fingers on the cage. The Falcon has pitch rings, we call them. So we have to go down through the pitch rings and hook into the carabiner. Tension this all up, lay it there. The Falcon has A assist, this model does. Here I have like a dog clip or a little carabiner. This connects into both of the A quick links in the case of the thrust. The thrust likes, uh, I believe, likes, uh, inflates very well if it's both A's are used with the A assist. So I'll pick off the A's. See I have both of the quick links here. Connect it in. Again I walk back here. I pull everything tight. I'm sure all the risers are pulled to the rear. What I'm looking for is this angle relationship. The A pulled up at about 90 to the rest of the riser stack. That is 90 degrees to the rest of the riser stack. A very important thing to do at this point is to check to make sure that your in-flight configuration leaves the A assist, this A assist line, slack. You don't want to be flying around with your A's being pulled in flight. So we go up, we check it like this. Here's where your risers are roughly in flight. You can see the slack here, very important. We'll go around and do the other side. A's on top. Trimmers short. Down through the riser ring. Here, beat her in. Pull this up. A assist again to both of the uh, riser, the A quick links. I'm looking for this relationship, 90 degrees, looks nice. It's also important that whatever you decide, whatever works best for you here, is that the two sides, right and left, are symmetrical. That they're pulled the same, otherwise the wing, if you're pulling harder on the right side, that side will come up first. So you want them to be symmetrically, this angle to be the same. Again, we'll go back up here and check. Nice black, that's good. Now I'm going to go around the back of the wing, and we're going to center the wing on the machine. Three things to consider. Wind coming in my face. I'm set up right uh, into the wind with the machine. Now, so we've got the wind to consider. We're going to set the machine up, and we're going to set the center of the glider to the center of the machine. Very good. I'm going to walk around, we're just pulling this back to create the shape. The lines are roughly tightened as we go. We're not moving the center, right or left, we're just pulling the glider back gently. At this point, what I do with the tip, is I want to fold it over. The reason I do that is I want, that, that uh, means that I did check that we didn't have a line, the tip under one of these lines. That never turns out good. So, we're going to... We're going to take the uh, tip of the glider and fold it over top. We'll go over here and do this half. Again, the center, the center of the glider is right in the center of the machine, which is facing the wind exactly. I shouldn't say wind, I should say breeze. You're going to fly in wind. Tip over. Now we're going to go back to the check our lines one more time. This is a good time to check also that your brakes go directly from the brake toggle 
to the pulley. You don't have a, a brake twist like this. Or anything weird going on with your brakes. Back in the magnet. Now we're going to run the A's down. Basically, I do is pick the A's up. I go like this. I want to make sure my A's are clear and there's not line overs or tangles in the A's. From there, if all the other lines look like they're laid out without a big rat's nest or anything going on down there, or obvious tangles, you're probably good to go on this side. So I'll pull the lines back a little bit, walk around the other side, we'll do the same thing. Check the A's, A's are clear, no obvious tangles in the rest of the lines, comb everything back. Last thing, I give it a little bit of tension, like that, and it's ready to fly. Thanks for watching.